Sometimes we don't even need to hack web applications. Sometimes the developers really just give it to you if you just know where to look. So let's actually demonstrate a few ways of finding sensitive information that's exposed on different web application servers. The first thing we'll do is just kind of what I do personally is I'll just go to the website and you know try to open its robots.txt, which is a file that's supposed to tell web kind of crawlers not to crawl these particular directories and these particular files. But it's also a great way to tell us what exactly the web developer thinks is important and shouldn't be publicly viewed. And as you can see here, just by opening the robots.txt, we've got this very interesting directory right at the top, passwords. So let's see what's going on with that. If they've got directory listing enabled, then we'll just be able to see all the files within the passwords directory, and of course it is enabled. Uh, so we'll just click accounts.txt and we have a list of, it looks like user IDs, user names, user passwords, and some other information for user accounts. So pretty straightforward. Sometimes you can just find all the information you need from robots.txt. Other times you might need to use an actual tool that's built into Kali. And we'll demonstrate, well, two of them. We'll demonstrate Nikto and we'll also look at Durbuster. So let's kind of close out of, actually, you know what? Just to save myself a little bit of pain, I'm going to copy this, and then I'm going to close out of close out of the, uh, the the web browser. All right, so let me just close out the web browser, and we will open a terminal now. Okay, and the first thing we'll demonstrate is Nikto. So this will go through and look for vulnerabilities in web servers. So we can just type nikto-host and we'll do http com, um, colon forward slash forward slash and we'll just paste in what we copied previously. And that was already, the http was already in there. So let me just delete that really quickly and we'll just run nikto. And it'll go through and give us a lot of the same information that we saw in robots.txt. It'll find that passwords directory and those other directories that we listed out. And beyond that, it will find a lot of other information. So just a ton of vulnerabilities. Just seeing things scroll past here, it looks like it's found that tra directory traversal is possible. So we were, it was able to access etc slash password. Oh, what else? Lots of different directory indexing, which means when we try to access a directory, if there's no index.html, it will just list out all the contents of the directory. It looks like uh, some sort of private key has been found and the list just is going to continue on and continue on. So you can get a lot of information using Nikto. And the same way, I'm gonna control C, because this could actually run for a while, and I'll show you Durbuster. If I can type correctly, Durbuster. And this will open up a graphical user interface uh, with maybe a, a little bit of delay on this virtual machine. And then we can actually just use this to find a lot of the same information that we would find with, uh, with Nikto. So we'll enter a target URL. So I'm just going to paste this in again, but this time I'm going to, first off, copy the, yeah, we've got the start directory set up. So I'm actually gonna leave that, that, that should be fine as is. And we can increase the number of threads, although this might really kind of stress out this virtual machine. So I'll just increase it to like 40, maybe 50. And we can also select a dictionary. So I can't get it at exactly 50. It's gonna bother me, but that's fine. So we'll select a dictionary now, and that's gonna be under, if we go to browse, we can go to slash, I believe it's under user uh, share dictionaries, if I remember correctly, something like that. Maybe it's under Durbuster. Yeah, Durbuster and word lists, there we go. And we'll just choose just a, a small one actually, just to kind of make things run a little bit more quickly. And it still might not run very quickly. So let's just try it out. So we'll click start here and see what it does. And now it's just kind of going through and trying to find directories. It may even be giving us kind of nice output back here. So yeah, directories found, lots of directories are being found. And it'll just go through and kind of recursively search for directories. And as you can see, the virtual machine is really struggling now. It's got a lot of threads running and it didn't have any threads to work with. 
So it's probably just on the verge of death, but you probably get the point now. It's, it's just going through recursively looking at directories and trying to enumerate those directories so that maybe we can find some useful information. So it gives us a lot of the same information as Nikto and honestly, a lot, of, a lot of the information that we saw just in that robots.txt. So sometimes I like to just go to robots.txt first, just in case it, it uh, kind of discloses something important and then we don't even have to necessarily use the tool. But other times, Dur Durabuster and Nikto and tools like that are also really important and useful. So hopefully that was of use to you, and I'll see you in the next lab video.